Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit where am I with my project right now. Um, most problems I had, as I expected, was to make sure that motor and the old one that I had, um, they synced their frequencies, so I would get nice shapes out of it. And here you have a little bit my own code that I've been writing. It's pretty simple and straightforward if you kind of know where you're going. Um, yeah, you can see it's, these guys, for example, are commented because I was using some potentiometers to test it out, but I don't need them anymore as I have like all kind of figure out and what all this does basically is like gives specific speed to that one not as a speed but start and stop so it gives electricity or it cuts down the electricity and that makes it go faster or slower and with that i get different shapes which then get reflected to this motor that gets moved by this stepped motor from right to left um, I have another motor here which is like the one moving the laser some connections as you can see uh, I have my small bed port here some big 6 volt battery and this is the the relay for the motor so what does this does is basically turns on and off electricity to the motor <clears throat> and that makes it go faster or slower but basically after all that if i plug this so i make two sensors uh, one of them is this one which is basically a microphone and I just have it programmed so when it hears some specific noise it turns on as you can see and then I have this sensor from here which is like a gesture sensor and basically like if I go down sorry it's hard to do with a phone and everything but basically if I go down on it these things start spinning one second just just so you can see now I move it down and I get the circle on the wall right there and now if I do like hand gesture ah hard but I do like up that thing starts jumping so you have like the bouncing ball and then you can do to the left that thing you can see like motor turns around and then to the right so it goes it has like a maximum and minimum obviously but and then if I want to get just again the circle I would go <clears throat> down again and that thing gets back to its normal position let's say all right so that's my kind of bouncing ball as you can see lots of cables for <laughs> not so much huh? anyway so one more thing just to finish is uh, obviously this is not the final <laughs> you can see it's like wood and like bunch of cables around and all that i'm gonna planning to make like the top acrylic the front acrylic so you have nice uh, movements like sorry nice uh, the laser can go through and you can see it <clears throat> and then one last thing is you can also shut it down just from the sensor and that's it where am I?